Hello, it's Thursday. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we're going to finish uh, chapter 20 in the book of Acts, uh, starting in verse 32. So now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I have coveted no one's silver or gold or apparel. Yes, you yourselves know these hands are provided for my necessities and for those who were with me. I have shown you in every way that by laboring like this, you must that you must support the weak. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said is more blessed to give than to receive. And we said all these things. He knelt down and prayed with them all, and they wept freely and fell on Paul's neck and kissed him, sorry most of all for the words that he spoke, and that they would see his face no more. And they accompanied him to his ship. So uh, here they're talking about, hey, you know, we need to help others, you know, with when, when we can. Um, and uh, we must support the weak. Uh, now, support the weak, how? Uh, that, that's a that's a that's a that's the sixty four million dollar question. How do you support the weak? Uh, today in modern America, we we've gotten we, we we've learned well learned. Let's say we've decided on how that's supposed to be. We uh, we give out people give out money, we give out money for charity. We have food banks. We have clothing banks. We have all these free services that we help people out because of all well, they're not strong enough to to do it on their own and do it. So we want to do it for them. Now the question is is doing it for them really helping them? Is that helping the weak? You know, if someone's weak, they gotta be made what strong. You know, I think an example looking at like a, a, a trainer uh when you're at a uh in a gym. You know, you, 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 you have a trainer. Why? Because their job is to make you stronger. They don't get, you know, they put the weights on you and help you learn to get stronger and stronger. I mean, I went through it for a while. I had a guy named Sam from Johnton. Wonderful guy. Uh, amazing. He's in Longview, Texas. And he brought me over to the gym and it changed my life because I, 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 I died. I died twice. If you haven't heard that story, you can go somewhere on our webpage and hear that. And, and then I had to change my lifestyle. I weighed 380 pounds. Today I'm under 250. I'm at 246 or something like that. Praise the Lord. Uh, my, my Paul was playing with was 250, so I'm really excited. Uh, I'd like to get down maybe around 220, 210. But, yeah, I'm just ha – ha after so many years, down 140-some pounds. Praise the Lord. And he put me on – and so I need the trainer. And so he put me on the weight machine, and he showed me how to do it, and then had me do it. And, and then after so long, he put some more weight on. But what he didn't do is when I couldn't lift that weight, he didn't go get on the machine and do it for me. He then would he then would help me get to there. He would show me you could do it. He'd show me different techniques. He would show me and said, you got to push through it. He, he would encourage. Sometimes the encouragement wasn't, I considered encouragement, but I understand why he did what he did because I needed to get pushed through it. Sometimes people have to just 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 tell you the way it is. Uh, that actually is encouragement. We go, oh, they're, they're, they're criticizing, they're judging me. No, well, they might be, but they're doing it for the right reason to get you to go forward. They're, they're, you know, we're allowed to speak our opinion in order, in order to help someone else out, not to put someone down. And uh, and sometimes we, we, we help the weak by, by not actually helping with the core problem. Um, and, and that's a very important thing. Um, and uh, one of the things that's, it's, you know, when I came here, we, we had a food bank. We'd help people with rent, things like that. You know, and then we had to, that, that I sat back and said, you know, Lord, why? Is this really helping those who are, are weak? Because then they're just coming back the next month for the next handout. How is that? If someone is weak, you want to make them stronger. So we changed our whole philosophy and how we do things. Um, if anybody needs food, we're happy to help them with it. If anybody needs help with rent, we're happy to help them with it. But we have a couple of requirements that go along with it because we're going to want to train them so they don't find themselves in, in the same place the next month. If you need something, now, if you're part of our church family, no questions asked because you're already part. You're getting trained every week through our services. Hey, that's great. You're part of the family. We will help you. No problem whatsoever. And, and, and it's part of being part of, plugged into a family of God, being part of the church. Um, but those who are outside the church, hey, We'll help you. But here's the thing. You got to got to come in and you, you got to talk to the pastor, me or someone else uh, for counseling purposes. Um, find out why you are in the position you're in. Um, you know, it could be multiple reasons. And by the way, a financial situation, sometimes it's not the financial situation. Why the reason you're in is maybe decisions here or, or ideas here that have caused you to get to that certain point. Let's find out what the root cause is so we can help you get, get better. Then, uh, I, I ask you to come to at least one service. 
Okay, because you know we want to be able to because you know you, in, a lot of times people get to the trouble they get into uh, financially, food wise, relationship wise, personal wise, job wise because they don't know because they don't have a real good strong family. They don't have a family that actually cares for them, that loves them um, like Jesus does, and so they need to be involved in that and get to feel that and see what it's like. And then after that, then we will help them. Uh, but then when we help them, we say, "Hey, then we're going to check back on you," and they're like. What? You're going to check back on it? Yeah, we want to make sure you don't fall into the same problem. Hey, we want to make sure, hey, let's put these principles in play. Are you doing what you're doing? Um, and, and are you going to continue to do that? And and uh, here, here's the crazy thing. I, 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 I've been here now eight years, almost eight years. And uh, for the last seven and a half years since we kind of retold that, um, we, we almost do no outside benevolence. And, uh, and we do very little because people are like, I don't want to go counseling, or I don't want to go to church, or I don't want you to help me check up so my life gets better. Well, that's what he's saying here. When you help the weak, when you find someone's weak, you need to help them get stronger. Now, in your personal life, you've got people that are weaker in your life. Don't just give them what they need. You know, now we do give them what they need, uh, you know, for the time period. We say, hey, but now, but here, here's how you get take the next step so you don't have to ask for help the next time. Because the thing, if you help somebody, and they don't get stronger, they're going to ask you for help again. And then when you say no, they're going to think you're mean. They're going to think you're horrible. Uh, I know that because we get that all the time. We're, we're the main church. No, we're not the main church. We actually want to help you get stronger. Uh, you just don't want to do that. <laughs> and here's the thing. is Because because they came once, and then they come back the second time, and we tell them no. What happens? That, that, that we, at some point, you're just going to, to come to that conclusion that we don't want to help. No, that's not true. We want to we don't want to help you. We want to really help you. And those in your life, you got to really, if you really want to help them, you got to find a way to help them become stronger. You got to help them get stronger. Um, and because here's the reason why they need help to get stronger because they're weak now because they don't know how to get stronger. And you got to, sometimes it takes being really firm um, and makes putting parameters around. They know you can have this, but you got to walk through A, B, C, D to get to that. Um, so nor they learn and they get stronger on their own. And that's what Jesus wants. So hopefully uh, you can take that today and uh, and help other people become stronger, not weaker. When you, when you just entitle someone, all you do is make them weaker. That's all you do. You know, we, we need to make the weak become stronger. And we can do that. And then when you're weak, you know, and someone helps you, you know, demand that they make you stronger. You should, you should look forward to the challenge to become stronger. Because once you become stronger, then you are, you're amazed at what the results can be in your life. Thank you to Mr. Sam from Junton. I don't know if he's watching or not, um, but, uh, you know, he made me stronger. He made me a better person. He made me better looking. He made me a uh, more healthier a person. Why? Because he didn't just say, hey, okay, come here to the weights and I'll lift the weights for you. No, he showed me how to do it. And when I couldn't do it, he told me, hey, you need to do it. I know you need to buckle down and find a way to get it done. You you can do, you know, and that's what we need to do to make people stronger. That's how you help a weak person. You don't just give them something. You give, you know, you, you might have to, but you do it though in a way where it forces them to actually get stronger, to, to, to go up to something and uh, to go higher than what they think they can be. And when they find, when they get, and it doesn't have to be like a giant step. If they just take a little step, they go, wow, it can be better. What an amazing thing that is. So have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. And you're absolutely awesome.